Classic TV fans, Rick 9G here. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking about Laurel and Hardy. More specifically, about a short. A short that's called Big Business. Now, it's available in many different forms. You could probably find it on YouTube. You could find it on Amazon. So many different platforms. And it's one of the popular ones. They're selling Christmas trees to different homes. And in one home, it's just chaos. The Christmas tree gets stuck in the door. And then they have this fight with the owner of the home. And they essentially break each other's things. You know, the, the owner of the home breaks Laurel and Hardy's truck and, and all the Christmas trees and then Laurel and Hardy proceed to destroy the poor man's home and it's such a great episode, the escalation, it's such a great short. But I'm going to visit two locations today. That is, the first location that they visit is a home where they start selling the trees and they have no success there before they go to the home that they destroy. So we're going to go first to the home where they try to sell the trees no avail and then we're going to go to our second location which is going to be the actual destruction home let's just call it that the home that gets destroyed now i will note uh, they're both in the los angeles area the first home which is the first home they show up essentially which is like a two-part home they're kind of connected and so forth in the actual movie is right in the middle of Culver City. Now, Culver City is known as the second Hollywood because a lot of films that were even said were filmed in Hollywood were actually filmed in Culver City. Things like Hogan's Heroes, parts of Batman, the 60s television show, um, Desilu had their Culver lot there, uh, the Andy Griffiths show, I can go on and on and on. And so amongst them were a lot of Laurel and Hardy movies. And so we're going to go right there to the center where these are actual homes. I need to note that these are actual homes where people live in. So we're going to be very careful, be respectful, not break any laws. We're going to stay on the sidewalk. We're going to be respectful. And if you ever come to these homes, please do the same thing so that, you know, we can respect them, but also highlight that these are real places. They're not sets that were built for movies. That was done a lot later. They thought it was more practical than to just go to actual people's homes and pay them and do this instead of a controlled set that they can essentially use and control the environment. So let's get right to it. We'll go to our first location in Culver City, California. Um, don't pretend. Now I, I, I So what's really great about this is that this home is really unassuming. It's right on the corner of Jacob Street and Caroline Avenue in Culver City, California. A very quiet, beautiful little neighborhood here. And the main thoroughfare is over here. Main thoroughfare over there. Washington Boulevard. And it's really cool because this is not super populated, but it was more sparse. There were, there were less homes when the short or the actual movie was out. So I'll show you from here. Remember, stay on public sidewalks the entire time if you come and visit. So remember, this is the two locations. There was one basically over here on the left. This is the one where they first showed up to on the left and they knocked on there and they came with their little their little truck with the Christmas trees and they parked where about that Honda is right here and then when they left from that location they literally drove they came here and then they went to the other three locations so it's 3404 and 3406 you see the overgrown grass there and I could go across the street and go to the sidewalk I may just do that at the end but we're going to just wait on that and um, we're just gonna go from this side. So you have bikers, you have lots of people, you know, doing a lot of fun things out here. It's really, really cool. It's really nice. Maybe we'll cross. Again, always staying on the public sidewalk. It's very cool to get. And what's really cool is I'll compare, I'll put some photos up so that you can see a lot of the things are still here, like the actual uh, roof line and then the arches are still there. Oh, this stuff is all overgrown, but other than that, it's, um, it's all present. Everything is pretty much similar. Um, the colors are a little different, but you can see the structure is the same. Going back to the 20s, which is crazy, and we can just film this way, but it's just really cool to be able to look at this and see that 
LA history is still alive and well. Yeah, some of it, they tear it down. So what do they tear down? They tear down a lot of the sets. They tear down a lot of things like that. But other than that, some locations you can actually come and visit. This one's free, this one's available, and um, it's really cool just to be able to see the sightings right here that all appear in the movie, right? Like this appears in the movie. Now the signpost isn't there. Caroline and Jacob isn't there in the movie. They actually just have a, what you call it, they have a street light, a street post there. And um, yeah, but the grass was a little, a little neater, obviously, in the, in the actual movie. But other than that, it's pretty cool. It's pretty awesome. We're gonna take off in a little bit. Just wanted to be able to show you this to go to our second location in Chevy Hills. It's not that far. We'll probably come across this way. But this is so cool. Laurel and Hardy, big business filming location. I love it. This is so cool. So that's really cool being able to just go outside to the filming location. Going back to 1929, I mean, that is mind blowing to me. The fact that you can actually see a lot of what is in the actual movie. The first location where they got no luck. They got no luck in having anyone sell those trees. They didn't sell any trees in the other location that we're gonna go to. This is in Cheviot Hills, California, which is essentially still in the LA area. It's kind of close to Century City, West LA. So it's, they're little neighborhoods and little areas within the Los Angeles County and Los Angeles City. Um, the county and the city are named the same things, just to clarify for people that aren't aware of that. Uh, but it's gonna be fun. Uh, these homes are really nice back then now. I mean, that one isn't that well taken care of. I mean, it goes beyond 1929, right? But then a lot of these other ones are actually very nice homes. A lot were remodeled and redone. That one seems like it wasn't. So this Chevette Hills one is a lot nicer area. Like we're in a fairly nice safe area and then we're gonna go to a lot nicer area. And so really cool, I'm really excited about this. Come on this journey with me. Let's go to the next location. Perfect, so we're at the second location right now in the Chevy Hills area. This is like I said, I would say from the Pico Robertson district, which is one of the largest concentration of Jewish neighborhood. It's the largest Jewish neighborhood in the United States out of Israel, which is really interesting. I love little facts like that. And so this is the Beverly Hills of that area, if that makes sense. And the home is right there. That is really, really cool. Um, this is the Laurel and Hardy home of Big Business. Now, Big Business is a wonderful short. That is the home where they are. are yeah, where they're filming. Very cool. Now, what's really interesting is a lot of the elements of the actual movie are still in the home, which is so awesome. You can see the door, for example, um, is a very similar door. They even have the light, the lighting, the lighting fixture right there. There, everything, the whole setup is very, very similar to what is actually on the, yeah, in the movie. So it's really, really cool. I just, I won't show her obviously, but I just talked to the wonderful, wonderful owner. Maybe she sees this video, but the wonderful owner of the home next door, they were like, do you need anything? And I was like, don't worry, I'm a Laurel and Hardy fan. She said, people come in buses and dress like Laurel and Hardy and film this home. And so she's like, oh, you're fine. Go ahead and film. I'm like, I'm staying on the sidewalk. Don't worry, I'm not doing anything crazy. And I get it, I get it. I'm, I'm, I have to cater to that, um, but it's really cool. I'm not going in the home or anything like that, obviously. This is the whole grassy area where they were doing all the things, right? And oh, it's just so interesting to look at the door and, and to look at where they were. I mean, they were right over here and they were doing all of the, the taking out of the tree and digging everything out. So amazing. I'm gonna come into the street just a little bit so we get a wider shot. It was funny because they were at the door the two ladies and they were looking at me like what is this man doing filming and I talked to them and they even left they were like oh you're fine don't worry about it so I'm sure they're gonna tell their 
their neighbors. Their neighbors probably know their home is filmed all the time. And so like I said, please be respectful. Please be nice. That's what I did because um, she even told me her home was in another movie. She didn't tell me which one it was, but that's really cool. And so yeah, there it is. The home from Big Business, Laurel and Hardy Short, 1929. Such an amazing, wonderful thing. And yeah, I'm happy that I was able to bring you to the home. So I didn't know the woman's name, the owner. I have to I have to share this with you, okay? So I was filming and the two ladies were the next door home, the, the brick home that's right next door. I don't want to call attention to it just because she was so nice and so welcoming to me and to the neighborhood, right? And so I just want to give her the anonymity, obviously. But she was so sweet, so nice. And there was another woman with her and that was the one who was more like suspicious who was like who is this and i was just filming from across the street right and i was talking i was doing this and everything and i mean i'm in a white shirt like i'm just i'm very non <laughs> i don't see myself as like a threat or anything like that but i get it right but then that's why it's good to talk to them and to just let them know what you're doing and so forth and Again, you don't have to, but it's nice. It's just an ease for them. And she's like, oh, you're a Laurel and Hardy guy. You're fine. It's not a big deal. And so it was sweet of her to be so nice and to be so, like, um, polite to me and so forth. And she said, as I mentioned, that her home was in another movie. She didn't mention which one. But she's like, oh, yeah, people come to watch the Laurel and Hardy home and, and to film like buses of people and they come dressed as Laurel and Hardy. So she's like, you're Laurel and Hardy guy? You're a fan? You're fine. And she went to the back of the home. It was almost like they wanted to see who was here. And then after that, when they noticed who I was and they didn't know I was Rick Nigy. They didn't know. Actually, the woman next to her, the non-owner who um, left, she was not too happy with the situation. And the owner of the home calmed her down, which is nice. So let, just letting you know that when I do these things, there are things that happen and people are just very suspicious of cameras, but you know what? Not doing anything wrong on public sidewalk and not a threat, you know? So that's the thing, just that's what I mean. And I, I say these things in a video because I want you to just be cautious and be very nice and open to people. Um, I'm sure you all will be, but you know, people will wonder, right? That's what I mean. These are private homes. People live in them now. It's like with their kids and so forth. So that's why I stayed very far away. It seems like no one's home, which is good. What I mean, there was no movement from that home to see like who's checking us out or maybe they're just so used to it that they just don't care. So anyway, I hope you enjoy this. If you want to see more videos like this where I venture out, let me know. I have fun doing them. I don't do them all the time. It's never going to be a staple of the channel where I do it like every day. A couple times a month, maybe like once or twice a month or every so and so, I will definitely do them. So thank you so much for the support. Don't forget to thumbs up the video and to subscribe to help me get to 150,000 subscribers by the end of 2022. Thank you so much for your support and most importantly, be hopeful. Thank you so much to my supporters on Patreon, especially my diamond tier patrons. New patron Gerard D, David D, Citizen Kane 359, Greg S, Kevin K, Ricky, Sally, and Vito L. Make sure to check the links in the description to see how you could be on this list as well.